U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley has just doubled down on Secretary of State Rex Tillerson's comments on Iran while speaking at the U.N. an hour ago. Ambassador Haley turning the spotlight on Iran by saying that the nation state is, quote, the chief culprit in the crisis happening in the Middle East, not Israel. Israel is not the chief culprit. It's Iran. Yet few nations and many U.N. people seem to want to shift the focus of the discussion off Iran. So with Secretary of State Tillerson's warning left unchecked, could that leave Iran to follow North Korea's nuclear weapons efforts? And is that a correct assumption? Should the U.S. be thinking about pulling out of the deal? Can they even do that? Let us bring in General Jack Keane. He's a Fox News military analyst and retired four-star Army general. Welcome, General. Thank you. Uh, I, you know, there are some conflicting comments here, though. It was just a day ago that the State Department released this notice that said that Iran was complying with the nuclear rules of the deal. Yeah, well, that, that is a fact. Uh, we had to certify that according to a certain timeline that was established when the nuclear agreement was signed. Mm -hmm. We have another one of those coming up in, in May. Uh, but I think what it, it was a good thing in a sense that it has forced the administration to come to grips with the nuclear deal. Obviously, the president had a thought about it when he was a candidate. He, he, he wanted to dump it, so did the vice president. And now they've got it. And they're going to conduct a review and come back and tell us what their policy is going to be. Here's, here's what I like about what he said yesterday. It's not just a nuclear deal. It's Iran's entire behavior. It's their aggressive behavior in trying to dominate the Middle East. And we're talking about how they own Lebanon. Syria is a client state. They, they got their hands around the throat of the Iraqi government. They toppled the regime in Yemen. It forced out our special operations base, forced the closure of our embassy. They are on the move in the Middle East, and we got to deal oh, yeah. with that. I mean, and, and, they, and it's they, not just a nuclear deal. And they handed that credit card to Hezbollah who got weapons and missiles attacking Israel right and left and everybody else. Um, okay, so say the U.S. chops its name off that nuclear deal. Is that largely symbolic, or what kind of effect would it have? Well, if we pulled out of that nuclear deal, that deal's over. The United States just can't summarily pull out. They've got to think about, okay, what, what are we going to do to replace it? Mm -hmm. And what would our policy be? So that, that's what they're going through here. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day... You know, Tillerson is right. Haley's absolutely right. Uh, this deal, as we've said many times, Liz, has absolutely certified that Iran can get a nuclear weapon in 15 years and can move towards it and start spinning yeah, it just allows centrifuges them. again in 10 years. So the very thing that it should have prevented is going to happen. We've got to come to a policy again that we and had once before. And that policy is simply this. We are not going to permit Iran to have a nuclear weapon. Well, soft, soft deals allowed the North Koreans over the years to do exactly what they're doing right now, and that's create a missile program. They're threatening all kinds of things. I think the latest in state media, I don't know if you heard this, General, where they said, we will launch a, quote, super mighty preemptive Strike Now, th this is not a new type of threat that comes out of there, but the decibels seem to be getting louder. How much credence do you put into Kim Jong-un's ability to attack us? And what should we do to make sure that, I mean, do we blow their missile out of the sky the next time they have a successful effort? The answer to that is no, but I'll answer no. th the first question is this. The, yes, what, what Kim Jong-un is doing is very dangerous, and this is why. We've been living with nuclear weapons in Korea for 20 years, and that guaranteed the preservation of his regime. That's why he wanted it. But he is the leader, not his father, not his grandfather, who has, is racing towards developing delivery systems for those weapons that go beyond South Korea, that can reach our bases in the Pacific, can, can reach all of our allies, and one that he's working on that can reach the United States. Yeah. That is the danger. Wow. And what Trump has done is brought back to the table once again a military option mm. which got the Chinese attention and now they're working with the North Koreans to see if they can get them to stand down. We don't know if they're okay. gaming us here, Liz, but we're going to find out pretty soon. Well, they, they parade their missiles like they're floats at the Rose Bowl parade. It was ridiculous. Anyway, General, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Good talking to you. General Jack Keane.